Hello, my name is Bruce Elgord and I'll be your video instructor for this short video on HTML tables. Now, this video is not my typical instructional type of video. It's more of a challenge to you, the HTML student, to be able to write the HTML and CSS code for the table that you see on your screen. Okay, I'll give you some hints. We'll, we'll, we'll spend a, a minute or two here walking through the table. The top row of the table seems to have a different background uh, and it spans across all the columns, all of the columns of the table and there happen to be five columns in that table. It appears that the font is bold and it looks bigger than the uh, rest of the text on the, within the table. The next row, the second row, appears to have the words, the column, uh, what do you call it, headings, year, quantity produced, quantity shipped, unit cost, and sales, okay? Now, a couple things. All of those are centered uh, and they're bolded. I think you get that, uh, that effect if you use a certain type of table tag. Uh, going down the left, you can see here that each row has a year, and those years are lined up with the word year above it, kind of, kind of like they're centered. Okay, I'll leave that like that. Notice the table rows. Every even row happens to have a different background color. I would say leave that for last. Okay, you may have to... Uh, do some research on that, how to, how to color the even or odd rows of a table. And let's go to the bottom row of the table. Notice the total sales, okay, spans four columns. It's bold, its font is larger, and uh, uh, yeah, and the background color of that cell, which spans across four columns, is uh, some shade of gray. The next column, the one with the green background, that lovely green background, has uh, some text in it. It's left aligned, it's bold, and the font, the, the size of the text, also appears to be larger and bolded. I hope those hints helped. In the next video, I will show you the solution, my solution, your solution, you know, uh, may be a little bit different, but I want you to do your best to try to code the HTML and CSS for this table because I know for a fact that on a quiz, you're going to have to develop a table, uh, I'm not going to say similar, but, but like this one. Okay, one where you're going to have to span columns uh, and maybe do certain things to the table cells. All right, hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, let your instructor know.